Foster, engineering announcements for the radio and television trade. Bulletin of news and information for the radio and television trade. Thinking of the future of direct broadcasting by satellite, a look at some of the signals already present at around 12 GHz. In transmitter news, the latest stations to be equipped for Channel 4, and details of three new relays in Dorset, Chesilbourne, in Gloucestershire, Upper Sudley, and in Mid Wales, Tregunnan. Last week we mentioned the low power satellite transmissions from Norway using the CMAX system. These use the 12 GHz European Communication Satellite, ECS. The ECS satellites operate mainly just below the DBS channels, between about 11 and 11.7 GHz. The main difference between ECS and future DBS satellites is the transmitted power. On ECS it's about 100 times less, around 30 kW EIRP, compared to around 3 MW for DBS. This is because ECS is intended for reception on large dishes of around 3 to 5 metres diameter. With DBS, of course, the idea is to use much smaller dishes, 90 centimetres or less. Even as small as 45 centimetres should be possible in many areas. There are, in fact, two European communication satellites. The first was launched in June 1983 and the second, ECS-2, last August. A third satellite is due to be launched later this year. The organisation behind the development of ECS is known as Interim Utelsat. Some 19 European countries are members, with the major financial contributions coming from France, Germany, Italy and the United Kingdom. The ECS satellite system has three main objectives. To supplement the terrestrial Eurovision network for television programme exchanges between countries, to provide additional international telephony and business links, and to offer television channels leased on a commercial basis for point-to-point -point links. Each ECS satellite has three transmission dishes. The wide coverage Eurobeam is used primarily for the Eurovision circuits. These require relatively large receiving dishes, generally more than five metres in diameter. The three spot beams concentrate the power into smaller areas, but still provide considerably less ERP than future DBS services. It's on the spot beam west that most of the television channels lie, most of them using the PAL system. Italy rents a channel to distribute its first national network, RAI-1, during evenings. Most of the other services are intended for cable operators. A German language channel is transmitted on the spot beam east, a mixture of German, Austrian and Swiss television. Switzerland operates a pay TV movie channel known as Teleclub Zurich. There's also a German cable movie and entertainment channel, PKS. TV5, transmitted in CCAM, is a French language channel compiled from French, Belgian and Swiss television and originated in the UK, Sky Channel and Music Box. And the one other television channel is the Norwegian network, NRK, unique in that it is the first service anywhere in the world to use the CMAX system. All these low-power television services are intended for reception either by cable operators or the national broadcasting organisations. DBS, with small dishes for reception, is still some years away. Nevertheless, the fact that there are now signals available in the 12 GHz band will no doubt benefit manufacturers of future DBS reception equipment. Transmitter news next, starting with special announcements. On Thursday in the Midlands, the main station at Ridge Hill is off until about half past twelve to allow for essential maintenance. This also affects ten dependent relays. In Wales, the relay at Fistiniog is off the air today between nine and midday for aerial maintenance. And in West Yorkshire, Hebden Bridge is off this morning between 9.30 and 11.30. This is in preparation for Channel 4, due here in March. The Hemel Hempstead relay will be off tomorrow between 10 and 11 because of work by the electricity board. Also tomorrow in Gloucestershire, the relay at Clearwell will be off between 9 and 4 because of work by the electricity board. 
For the same reason, in Northern Ireland, Kilearn will be off tomorrow between 10 and 3. The relay at Cushendor will be off tomorrow between 9 and 3.30. Again, this is because of work by the Electricity Board. On Thursday, Rumpster Forest will be off between 8 and 9 in the morning because of work by the Electricity Board. Also on Thursday, in Yorkshire, the relay at Idle is liable to short interruptions during the daytime. In County Durham on Thursday, the relay at Esh will be off between 8.30 and 4.30 because of work by the Electricity Board. And for the same reason, Ton Pantry in South Wales will be off on Friday between 9 and 12. New relays next, and in the Forest of Dean, Upper Sudley is now on the air. The relay covers about 430 people in Lower and Upper Sudley. A small number of people to the south of Lower Sudley will remain unserved. Programmes from Central and TBAM are on Channel 43, with Channel 4 on 50. Group B aerials should be used vertically polarised. Upper Sudley is now on the air. In Dorset, the relay at Chuzzlebourne is hoped to be on in a week or two. The station covers about 400 people in Chuzzlebourne and Dulish. The channel for TVS and TVAM is 53, with Channel 4 on 60. The aerial group is CD, vertically polarised. That's Chuzzlebourne, hoped to come on in a week or two. Nearing completion and hoped to be on the air later in the month, Tregunnan in Powys. Around 300 people will benefit in Tregunnan and Betwys Kedawain. Programmes from HTV Wales will be on Channel 25, with S4C on 32. The aerial group is A and the polarisation vertical. Tregunnan is due on the air later in the month. And tomorrow, Michael Power will be visiting dealers in and around the service area of the recently opened relay at Wanash, near Guildford. Channel 4 next, and conversion work at existing stations. Now on the air in central Scotland, Haddington on Channel 54, covering a population of 5,000. And in Buckinghamshire, Chapping Wickham on Channel 47. This relay covers a population of 8,000. Due this week in Kent, Chartham, on Channel 31, with a population coverage of 7,000. And in the west of England, Backwell, on Channel 32, covering a population of 4,500. A reminder that you can find the latest engineering information on Oracle Teletext. Page 390 on ITV contains our guide to Channel 4 commissioning at existing relay stations. It now includes a complete list of nearly 100 stations due to be equipped in 1986, as well as those due for conversion this year. Page 590 on Channel 4 and S4C carries our daily transmitter news and other technical items of interest to the trade. We leave you with our address for technical queries on independent television or local radio. Engineering Information Service, Independent Broadcasting Authority, Crawley Court, Winchester, Hampshire, SO 2122QA. The telephone number is Winchester, STD code 0962 822 444. If you live in the London area, you can dial 584 7011, but do ask for engineering information. We'll be back next Tuesday at the same time. From John Lovell and myself, Maureen Nicholson, goodbye until next week. Thank you.